afternoon. Uh, I'm Dr. Snyder. I'm a pathology resident at the University of Tennessee Medical Center in Knoxville. Um, and we uh, did a study uh, looking at a lot of the data from uh, Dr. Rusevich's overall study, um, looking at breast cancer in the young age population, which is defined as uh, breast cancer patients less than or equal to age 40. Uh, and these were patients within our institution uh, over a 10-year time span. Uh, so a little bit of background first. Uh, breast cancer, as you know, is the most common invasive cancer in women worldwide. And it's also the second leading cause of death from cancer among women. Uh, there's approximately 11,000 new cases per year in the United States that are in patients younger than age 40. And that makes up about 5 to 7% of all breast cancer cases. Uh, and then breast cancer in the less than or equal to age 40 year old age group has been uh, typically associated with a more aggressive behavior and a higher mortality than in uh, patients of older age. So we saw this as an importance to, uh, to undertake a study looking at the uh, less than or equal to 40 year old age group specifically uh, to see what uh, factors could uh, influence prognosis and overall survival. Some poor prognostic factors for breast cancer in general. Uh, unfavorable ERPR HER2 phenotype has uh, been shown to be a poor prognostic factor. Uh, specifically, the triple negative, uh, the ER negative, PR negative, and HER2 negative phenotype, or the HER2 positive phenotype. And while this has traditionally been considered unfavorable, uh, new reports are starting to show the benefit of Herceptin on overall survival in patients, so these numbers might start to change over the coming years. Um, young age at less than or equal to age 40 at time of diagnosis uh, on its own has been shown to be a poor prognostic factor. And some reasons are that these patients typically have more advanced stage at time of presentation, higher grade tumors, uh, more frequent lymphascular invasion, and more often carry the unfavorable phenotypes. And then non-Caucasian race, uh, specifically uh, non-Caucasian race has been shown to uh, have more frequent triple negative uh, breast cancers. Uh, so non-Caucasian race as a factor on its own has been shown to have a poor prognostic, prognostic factor. Uh, so the objective of our study, uh, we, we looked at uh, young, less than or equal to age 40, uh, Caucasian female patients in our institution over a 10-year time period from January 1st, 1998 to July 1st, 2008. And these patients had a last follow-up date with us on uh, August 1st, 2013. Uh, we evaluated the prognostic value on overall survival of the pathologic tumor characteristics, uh, the ERPR HER2 subtypes, and TNM stage. And we also analyzed the type of therapy received and looked to see how all these variables together uh, impacted overall survival. Uh, so we had complete data available for 80 uh, less than or equal to age 40 year old uh, Caucasian females with breast cancer. And as Dr. Rusevich said, the uh, majority of patients in our uh, region are Caucasian females. Uh, then we divided these uh, ERPR HER2 groups uh, based on the 2011 St. Gallen International Consensus Panel Classification System. And they defined these groups as the luminal A-like group, which was ER and or PR positive, uh, HER2 negative with a low KI67, uh, the luminal B HER2 negative like group, which is ER positive and or PR positive, uh, HER2 negative with a high KI67, uh, the luminal B HER2 positive like group, uh, which is ER and or PR positive uh, and HER2 positive, and then the non-luminal HER2 positive like group, uh, which is ER and PR negative and HER2 positive, and then finally the triple negative uh, group which uh, all three are triple negative. Uh, so here's a graphical representation of the breakdown of our patients for the study. Uh, we started with 80, 40, less than or equal to 40 year old uh, Caucasian female breast cancer patients. Then we divide them into the favorable subtypes and the unfavorable subtypes. Uh, so the favorable subtype, 41% uh, uh, fell into the ER, PR positive and HER2 negative group. Uh, and then the unfavorable subtypes, 31% uh, fell into uh, the triple positive group or the ER negative, PR negative, HER2 positive group, and 28% fell into the triple negative group. Uh, then we used frequency statistics, kaplan meier and multivariate Cox regression curves to uh, measure the impact on overall survival by the pathologic tumor characteristics, uh, the effect of the ER, PR, HER2 subtypes, and the TNM stage. Uh, so some, some results from our uh, study, uh, the majority presented with grade three invasive breast cancer, uh, which made up 67%, and TNM stage two, which was 50%. 67.9% uh, underwent mastectomy. 29% uh, had breast conserving surgery, and 46.1% had post-surgery radiation. And then finally, uh, of, of these 76.5% uh, uh, ER positive patients underwent hormonal therapy. Uh, so here's our kaplan meier curve, and uh, this does not uh, account for the TNM staging grade. It only looks at how ERPR and HER2 uh, subtypes affect uh, overall survival. 
And these patients with the Kaplan Meier curve, uh, the ER positive, PR positive, HER2 negative subtype had a significantly better overall survival than the triple negative or the triple positive subtypes. Uh, but when we controlled for TNM stage and grade, um, only the TNM stage showed to be a predi uh, significant predictor of overall survival. Um, the other groups uh, did not uh, or were not influenced by HER2 uh, uh, ER and PR status alone. Um, so the summary of our results, the majority of our young patients presented with high TNM stage and grade uh, breast cancer, uh, breast cancers. And then I already talked a little bit about the uh, treatments. Um, the uh, patients with ER positive, PR positive, HER2 negative, favorable subtypes uh, had a significantly better overall survival than the triple negative or triple positive uh, in the univariate analysis. Uh, but when we controlled for TNM stage and grade, only TNM stage uh, showed to be a significant predictor of overall survival in these patients. Um, so in this study, we showed for the first time in this sub cohort of uh, less than or equal to age 40 uh, Caucasian female breast cancer patients uh, that the unfavorable triple negative uh, subtype and the traditionally considered unfavorable HER2 positive subtype uh, were significant predictors of worse overall survival uh, only in the univariate analysis, um, which was similar to the findings of most other researchers uh, where triple negative breast cancers uh, in this study were shown to be more aggressive. Um, these women were all, and this study I think was out of California, um, and these women uh, had poor survival regardless of stage. Um, then also the, uh, this study found that triple negative uh, breast cancers most commonly affect younger uh, non-Hispanic and Hispanic women in areas of low socioeconomic status. Uh, in California, uh, a large proportion of their uh, breast cancer patients are Hispanic, um, and more frequently uh, were shown to have the triple negative phenotype. Um, and then, uh, as I said, when we controlled for TNM stage and grade in the multivariate Cox regression analysis, um, ERPR HER2 subtype was not a significant predictor of overall survival, uh, while TNM stage uh, still was a significant predictor of overall survival. And this finding was uh, more consistent uh, with results from our previous study uh, that Dr. Rusevich mentioned um, from 2013, uh, looking at uh, the prognostic factors among patients of all age ages. Um, some reasons for the differences uh, with our findings compared to other researchers, researchers um, possibly population differences. Uh, we only studied young Caucasian females, uh, while other studies included all ethnicities or uh, may have had a uh, more frequent uh, common ethnicity within their uh, population, um, such as the Carolina breast cancer study. Uh, they found that triple negative breast cancer uh, Breast cancers were more common in premenopausal African Americans compared to uh, non African Americans, uh, which was 39% versus 16%. Um, so we think that uh, maybe the uh, more frequent uh, triple negative breast cancers within uh, these groups that have, or these minority groups, uh, may have contributed um, to the differences in our findings. Um, some other possible causes are the differences in the time period between the studies. Uh, as you know, significant improvements in therapies have been made over the last two decades. Um, and then also the type of classification system used. Uh, a lot of them use the St. Gallen classification system, but some uh, use other classification systems, which could change the uh, findings of their uh, studies. And then also sample size could be a factor. Uh, while our uh, sample size uh, showed a significant, or, or a p-value of significant uh, difference, uh, the sample size was still only 80 patients. Um, so in conclusion, TNM staging for breast cancers is a relevant prognostic marker in the uh, less than or equal to age 40-year-old Caucasian females with breast cancer. Um, and ERPR HER2 status is probably relevant for prognosis, uh, especially in the minority groups, um, but is uh, likely influenced by other variables, uh, and especially uh, with uh, Caucasians, uh, we did not show that it was a significant predictor. Uh, we suggest that further studies uh, on a larger scale, such as the NCDB or SEER database analysis, are warranted that will systematically uh, analyze the impact of race and different ERPR HER2 classification systems on the overall survival in uh, this particular age group. Um, and these analyses should be performed in the same time period as when our study was performed to account for any changes in therapies that have occurred over this time period. And then I'd like to thank you for giving me the honor to present here.